Hello everybody and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to make a version of this card. I've used the greeting for the In Bloom set. I've used the square from the watercolor shapes. And I've already cut out all my floral elements from the uh, Pierced Blooms dies that uh, you could coordinate with the In Bloom set. So, what I want to start off with though is the greeting. On the card here, it just says happy birthday, but the greeting actually is happy birthday, you really are the best. Now I tried a couple of ways to block off the letters from the bottom that I didn't want. Uh, the first way, which I did with this, is I inked up the stamp and then I put a piece of paper across kind of the bottom of my uh, piece of cardstock I wanted to stamp on and then I stamped it down so that the you really are the best showed up on the waste paper. I did end up with a, just a little shadow on here though. So I've had a bit of a play with how it could work and I want to show you what my solution was and my solution is washi tape. I used a piece of washi tape that was longer than the die and of course now the washi tape doesn't want to work. Okay. So I took a piece of washi tape and put it across the letters that I did not want to appear in my greeting. So I just tucked it over the bottom. I made sure it was really tight on the um, edge of the block and I made sure that it was tucked in so that I still had all of the tails of the greeting above. And I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit like that. So then what I did is I inked up my stamp, made sure it was really, really well inked up. And it is, and then I peeled the washi tape off and I can put my greeting down with the happy birthday without the rest of the saying on it. Uh, I was actually thinking of cutting it, cutting the stamp itself, um, but you know, cooler heads prevailed and I didn't cut the stamp. Uh, so I am gonna run this through with the second smallest stitched rectangle die. Cut that out. And just center that. I'm just using my small plates um, because it's just a small die. I don't need to run it through with the larger plates. I don't have the smaller cut and emboss machine, um, but the smaller plates are, are really good, especially if you're just doing small uh, greetings like this or just a couple of small die cuts because uh, you it's really quick. So there is the greeting. We're ready to go. Like I say, I've already um, cut out the die portions of it, and I used my adhesive paper as well, um, just to make it easier. So for this card, this one has the soft sea foam card base with um, Blushing Bride, and then of course the white cardstock. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to keep the soft sea foam card base. I'm going to add a Blushing Bride mat in five and a quarter by four, and then I'm going to use a piece of the white cardstock in five by three and three quarters to go over top, and this is what I'm going to decorate. So I can go ahead and I can attach uh, the Blushing Bride mat to the soft seafoam card base. And just line it up, drop it down, and give it a press. Okay, let's just put that off to the side for now. So to do the background, I used the, as I said, the square from the Blushing Bride and the uh, Soft Sea Foam. Now I was playing with the idea of doing second value, um, but I think the second value would be just too pale in the background. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to use full value in both of these to stamp up the squares. So this is the soft sea foam and I'm just coming in and stamping down like that. And then what I did is because I know all the blocks are going to be the same size, I just came in again 
and stamped like that. And then just finished off the bottom piece like that. So I'm going to clean off my stamp using my good old stamp and scrub. This thing gets washed about once a week because I use it so much. Okay, so now I'm going to come in, sorry about the noise, with my Blushing Bride and I'm going to ink up the white space just like that and it does come out really quite dark um, I've said before the ink comes out quite dark when you first stamp up and then it uh, it dries to a more true color as you can tell I've just inked this one and this one is dry so you can really see the difference in the colors in the ink so again if you're stamping something and you think oh my goodness that is completely the wrong color it probably isn't it will dry the way you need it to so i am going to adhere this to the card base now and then we can start building the flowers and really however you want to put the flowers on however many flowers you want to put on um, is entirely up to you I know that the greeting will be dimensionalized towards the bottom here and that's kind of where I'd like to have the greeting at the intersection of the white lines just like that. So as I said I used the adhesive um, paper to glue onto the back of the cardstock so that I basically have stickers. So what I'm going to do um, I used again the soft sea foam cardstock as well as the Blushing Bride cardstock. So I'm going to put the stems on. I'm just going to peel the paper off the back of the stems so that I can stick them down. And then uh, we'll place the flowers. And with this, this card, the, I did the center flower a little lower. I think I actually want it to be up higher. So I can adjust as I go with how far the flowers are. So I'm just going to crisscross these. I actually want this one to go this way. And so you'll see the bottom of the stems potentially underneath the greeting and that's fine. So we'll do that. And then I've just got a short piece because I didn't really want that third stem sticking out the bottom. So let's try and pick that up. There we go. And again, peel the backing off. For little pieces like this, it is really, really great to have the, um, the adhesive backing. Now you'll see, I'm putting this on, there's a gap here, but I'm going to put a leaf over that gap so you won't even see it. So what I've got is two flowers that are pink. Uh, the largest flower is pink and I'm going to place them down and see, I could put it right at the top of the uh, stem or I can bring it down as long as it doesn't extend past the flower. So I can put this one on like that and then just layer everything up like this. And then I can put the center in and all of these again are from the Pierced Blooms dies. And just pop that in if you wanted to do them different colors whatever you would like to do I always say these uh, videos are a guideline of what you can do doesn't mean this is what you have to do uh, you can use your own colorway I just thought this was really cute for uh, a younger girl um, nice soft uh, colors um, and very very cute card with the the flowers on so we'll just keep building the flowers and, and I have to say I am a super fan of my followers. This last week the comments have been coming in fast and furious. Lots of, uh, lots of suggestions for card ideas, lots of um, suggestions of different ways to do things. Uh, my way isn't the only way to do things people have said oh I do this and and that's fabulous I love hearing your comments and I do reply to them all so keep them coming and remember to like the videos that you do enjoy because you'll see more of them in your um, suggested 
feed from YouTube. Um, they base their, what they show you on what, um, what you've liked previously. So with the leaves, I actually cut one stand of leaves out and then I just snipped them off. I didn't do that prior to doing the video because I wanted you to see the process. And I've just got this piece of granny apple green here just so that you can see um, the pieces separately. So there's a little bit of patience with me while I trim these leaves off. And it's okay if there's a bit of a flat side on it because we'll just put that side to the stem on the card. So I'm just gonna trim that back and that one like that. And this one I think is the one that I am going to put in the center and you can see it covers that stem up perfectly. So these, this one absolutely has to go on this side. So we will do that. And you can put as many or as few leaves as you like. Again, completely your card. You absolutely do what you would like to do. And I'm just gonna peel the backing off that one. Pop that one up in the middle like that. I didn't peel all the paper off. I'm like, why isn't that one sticking down? That's okay. You can use tweezers to put these down too, or your take your pick tool, uh, whatever works for you. I'm gonna peel the backing off this one and I'll pop this one up here like that. And it's okay if it overlaps one of the flowers, not a problem at all. I'll peel the backing off this one and pop that up there. Now I'm just gonna put this on to see where I would place this. I place it like that and I have one leaf left. So I can decide whether I'm actually going to add the leaf or if maybe I put it over the happy birthday like that or if I just don't use it. Um, and I think in this case, I'm not going to use it. Because I changed the position of the flowers on this one, I don't need as many leaves, so I just won't use that one. Again, your preference completely. What I might do actually is I might add it to this card um, so that there's an extra leaf on it. There's always options. So I'm just going to peel the backs off this. I'm going to place my happy birthday greeting. As I said, I kind of wanted it to be at the intersection of the um, blocks and I just want to make sure that's straight and then I'm going to stick it down. So there you go. There is a really pretty soft and subtle birthday card um, using the soft sea foam and the blushing bride with the greeting from the in bloom set and the square from the watercolor shapes. Thank you so much for watching and do remember to like the videos and please leave me comments of things you'd like to see. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.